Welcome back to the Rusty Maths channel. Number again. Today though, we are looking at estimation. This is gonna be a super short video. All right, here we go. Let's first of all talk about some simple things that we need to know. So one of the first things that we need to know is how we use different equal signs. Now, you've seen this particular equal sign before. It means equal, or we can pretty much say it means the same. So the things on the opposite side of it they are the same. The other type of equal sign we've used before is with three lines like this, and this means identical. We tend to use this one when we are looking at questions in um, algebra, where you're looking at algebraic proof, where one side is identical to the other side. The one we are going to be using today is an, a wavy equal sign, which means approximate. So that's the one that we're going to be using because we're going to be doing some rounding. And when we round, we are no longer looking at exact answers. We're looking at approximate answers the minute you start rounding. So let's jump into the question and see where we're at. Now, when you're doing an exam question or anything in maths for that matter, if you see the word estimate or approximate, the first thing you need to do is round all of your numbers to one significant figure. Now, I hope you know your significant figures because if you don't, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description to go and watch my video on uh, significant figures. You do need to watch it before you watch this though. Anyway, so here we go. So the first thing we do is we round everything to one significant figure. And the minute you round, we're gonna have a wavy equal sign like that because all of the answers now will be approximate. So let's have a look and see. 9.7, well, that will round to 10. And then the 326, that will round to 300. Again, make sure you check that video out because this, we will round it down. Don't forget, we want one significant figure, so that's three and then two zeros there. Anyway, put our dividing line, 1.8, that will become two, and then we times that by 5.235, which just becomes five. So everything has been rounded to one significant figure. So now we put our wavy equal sign again, because it's an approximate answer. 10 times 300, that becomes 3000, divided by two times five, that becomes 10, so the approximate answer to this is 300. And just like that, we are finished. Right, did you get it? Was it easy? If it did, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't subscribed as yet and hit that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. But for now though, until I see you on the next one, peace.